Hey everybody, Ben with Classic Firearms here. Today is Monday, October the 10th, and we've got some really unique and exciting surplus to show you today, and then we're going to move into our M39s. Before I get there, we have the lovely Grayson operating our camera for us today. Jordan was busy on another project, so Grayson stepped in for us. Hello, Grayson. Hello. Uh, Grayson works customer service here. Wonderful young lady. We're so proud to have her. Grayson, zoom in here to the table. Let's tell the folks what we have today. I have never seen these rifles before. These are Belgian contract FN Herstel Belgian 1935 Belgian Mausers. They're a five round bolt action in 762 by 51 NATO. So they are a true 308. They do not have markings on the receivers. I don't know if they've been sanitized or if they never had them because I've never seen these before. As much surplus as we've had come through here. We only have these four. Uh, pretty much the only markings are on the side of the receiver. Grayson, can you close up? You can see through the screen. Does that show? Yeah, can you, you can see, see that? Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. You can see the Herstel Belgian markings on them. 308 caliber. If I kept every rifle I wanted out of here, folks, uh, I would end up divorced, and I can't afford that. I love my wife. Don't want to lose her. Don't want to lose my dogs. I think I'll leave some of these rifles on the table for you guys. But uh, this is a great looking little 308. Uh, see how short and compact it is? This is going to be an absolute dragon and a flamethrower to shoot. I imagine it's going to have a good recoil to it, which I enjoy a rifle with a lot of recoil. Fast cannon, bent bolt on this rifle. They're nothing beautiful to look at. You can see they are surplus, but they're good and solid. No cracked stocks or anything of that nature. 308 caliber, so ammo is plentiful. And certainly the price is right. Let me lay that back down like it was. 1935 Belgian Mauser. I have four of them, four only, $349.99. Next rifle is our M95 Styers. These are either Austrian or Hungarian made Styers. The M95 is an 8 by 56 R caliber. It's a straight pull rifle. Many of you are familiar with these. We have sold these in the past. They always do well when we have them, but you don't see them very often anymore. I have these four. Very nice condition. As you can see, we'll let you look at a couple of more. And we'll see the other side. Straight pull, eight by 56 R. They actually have the, the saddle hangers there that hang in the clips for Calvary. M95 Styers at $299.95. Very affordable for an M95 Styre in great condition. And lastly, something you virtually never see anymore. We have sold thousands of these in years past, but you just don't see them anymore. The M1938 Russian rifle, five round Russian. Uh, M38 Mosin Nagant, the short variation, very much like an M44 but without the bayonet on it. 7.62 by, by uh, 54 R caliber, $349.99 on the M38s. We only have a couple of those folks. They are going to go fast. We're going to post these up tomorrow at 12 noon. They will be under their codes that you see. We will have a specific code for each one of these M38s or the M95 or the 1935. So just pull it up. You'll see what's there. There's no custom options or anything. We're just going to populate the quantities and let them sell at 12 o'clock tomorrow. Thank you for tuning in. We're going to take a little break and move right behind me here. And next we're going to show you some really nice M39s. Be right back. Hey, hold up just a minute, folks. Postscript, postscript. On these 1935 Belgian rifles, the 308 caliber rifles, as I was putting these away, we discovered something that to me doubles the cool factor, maybe doubles the value. We're going to leave them at the same price. Had I seen this before we shot the video, they would have sold much more expensively. But we like to throw a little nugget out there every, every now and again for your benefit where we can. Jordan, I'm going to ask you to zoom up on something. Just noticed these rifles are actually carrying their original serial number. Uh, without my glasses on, I can hardly see that. Is that number 88, Jordan? No, is that number 26? 79. Okay, number 79. I got Jordan to speak on camera, folks. Hey, that was pretty good, wasn't it? Come in so you can see it on the bolt also. 
Number 79. Number 79 on the receiver, a two digit number. That is the original serial number. There is no renumber anywhere. They came to us with that number on the invoice. Let's look at the other three very quickly. Another two digit number here. As you can see, we have three two digits and one three digit, but in all cases, this is number 177, is that correct? In all cases, they're the original number with no read number anywhere from the importer. That's how long these have been in the country. On the bolt and the receiver that match. Again, a two digit number or a three digit number is what you're gonna get. Doubles the cool factor, that is very neat. And those are the actual rifles. That's all I had to say. We'll be right back with the M39s. Okay, folks, we're back. Last Monday, we ran a very select group of 1969-dated sneak rifles, the M39 sneaks dated 1969. We had a tremendous response. They were sold out in less than three minutes on the site. We know a lot more of you folks would have liked to have gotten those. We only had a limited amount. I don't know if we'll find any more. We have cataloged all of the M39 rifles that we have left now and we're selling through the select ones on a daily basis through these videos. Uh, so the time to buy these is when you see them. Now I can't guarantee that one or two or a couple that we've missed won't pop up down the road as we continue to go through these Gaylords that they're in. But as I said, they have all been cataloged. We may have missed one or two somewhere, but by and large, the vast majority of these special rifles that you see sitting out, as I call them out, are going to be a one-time shot and then they're going to be gone. We are getting close to the end of this project. It will probably realistically last us through Thanksgiving. Uh, I don't think we will have any, if many at all, M39s left by Christmas time. I think they're all going to be gone. It's been a wonderful project for us. But again, let me emphasize, the time to get these is when you see them because we're not pulling punches. What I'm laying out here is what we have found and we're cataloging them and we're gonna go through them and then they're gonna be gone. So when you see it, if you want it, get it or you won't have another chance. Having said that, what we have today along that same vein is some 1967 dated M39 sneaks. I'm gonna show you a good look at these. I would call these unissued. There's some debate on unissued quality as opposed to very good, excellent. So let's just call them excellent, but to me, I think they're unissued rifles. They look very, very nice. We'll show you a standard one here. These four are standard 1967 dated. Now when I say standard, meaning standard that they don't have other characteristics like a hang tag or an Imperial Eagle but certainly not standard in the condition. These are excellent to unissued condition as you can see. Blue in is virtually 100%. All of the markings are very nice. You can see the 1967 date there. Beautiful stocks on them. Really precise, smooth actions. And one of the more desirable of all the M39s, a 1967 dated sneak. Now we have this, this 1967 dated. We also have a small quantity of these same 1967 dated rifles with hang tags, as you can see here. We have the original hang tag that goes with the rifle. And we have at least one with a nice Imperial Eagle stamp. And Jordan will get you to come in on that. So that's a 1967 with the Imperial Eagle. And just so you'll know, we'll show this. I didn't know whether to show it or not, but we'll do it in the interest of full disclosure. These three have hang tags. I think at least one of the other ones, and it's this one, had a partial stamping for an Imperial Eagle. That's just going to go as a hang tag markup. That's a partial stamping. It didn't get very deep. But somebody who gets a hang tag will get the one with the partial stamping on the Imperial Eagle. Now next, but certainly not least, we have probably the rarest of all the sneaks. This is a 1970 dated group. Very few of these. We had a few 1970s. I'm not certain that 1970 was the last year they produced the sneaks, but I am certain 1970 is the last year that we have seen. We haven't seen any later than this. 
again a beautiful group of rifles you can take a look at the 1970 date can you see that there Grayson mm -hmm. all of these are excellent to unissued condition and once again we will have an option for hang tag and we will have an option for Imperial Eagle. We're going to release these folks tomorrow at noon. The 1970 sneaks, uh, excuse me, the 1967 sneaks are going to start at $649, $649.99 with an upgrade charge for a hang tag or the Eagle. The 1970s, $719.99 again with an upcharge for the Imperial Eagle or the hang tag, go to the sneak skew in our ad. You'll find under the M39 section, you will see an ad for sneaks. These will be listed along with custom options for the hang tags and the Imperial Eagles. Folks, thanks for joining us for these videos every day. We continue to get good positive feedback. We're gonna do them as long as we can, as long as we have stuff to offer. We really appreciate your business and join us each and every day at www.classicfirearms.com.